time, the man running the National Security Agency spoke publicly today about extensive surveillance of phone calls and online communications. He defended the efforts and said, we're trying to protect Americans. Ray Suarez begins our coverage. Army General Keith Alexander came to a Senate hearing to discuss cybersecurity in general, but the questions quickly turned to surveillance. Vermont Democrat so, Patrick Leahy pressed him General to tell Alexander, what the NSA has to show cases. for its efforts. Has the intelligence community kept track of how many times phone records obtained through Section 215 of the Patriot Act were critical to the discovery and disruption of terrorist threats? I gave an approximate number to them in a, okay, classified, your, okay. in a classified, but it's dozens of um, terrorist events that these have helped uh, prevent. Others, including Oregon Wired. Democrat Jeff this Merkley, wanted to know more. So here I have my Verizon phone, my cell phone. What authorized investigation gave you the grounds for acquiring my cell phone data? You know, I think on the legal standards and stuff, on this part here, I think we need to get Department of Justice and uh, others because it is a complex area. I think what we're doing to protect American citizens here is the right thing. Our agency takes great pride in protecting this nation and our civil liberties and privacy. Alexander said he's bothered by how Edward Snowden, an intelligence contractor at NSA, could learn of the surveillance programs and then leak them. Snowden's last known whereabouts were Hong Kong. Today he was heard from again. In an interview with the South China Morning Post, he declared, I am neither traitor nor hero. I'm an American. He insisted he would not flee. Instead, he said, my intention is to ask the courts and people of Hong Kong to decide my fate. Many in Congress have condemned Snowden and defended the NSA's activities, which key committees monitored all along. Others voiced new concern yesterday as they emerged from closed-door meetings with intelligence officials. Democratic Congressman Brad Sherman of California said he was surprised by the scope of the monitoring under the secret FISA court. I did not know a billion records a day were coming under the control of the federal executive branch. Maryland Democrat Dutch Ruppersberger said it's high time for a full-scale airing of the privacy versus and security is, issue. Is Congress needs to, to debate this issue and determine what tools we give to our intelligence community to protect us from terrorist attacks. Lawmakers will get to ask more questions tomorrow, behind closed doors, when the House and Senate receive separate briefings on the NSA's surveillance.